Hey everybody, it's Nicole coming at you with another quick and easy DIY. I am making placemat pillows. I uh, am decorating my new craft slash diva space and I have a little thing going. So I made myself some pillows. Now these pillows are made from these placemats that I got from Big Lots. These are from their Winter Wonderland collection. Um, you know, one of the collections they have for this Christmas. If you've been watching anybody who's been hauling, they have been hauling tons of items and things like that from this particular collection. Um, they had several patterns of placemats, but when I saw this one, I knew that I wanted this one because I could use this year round. It's not as Christmassy in my opinion. Um, I like the way that it looks. Um, the other ones had like an embroidered Christmas tree and I believe it was another one. I can't remember, but I really like this one. Um, so I got a bunch of these. They were $3.50 each. So I grabbed up a bunch of them um, to make these pillows. Now they're super easy to make. If you watch my um, video last year where I did the um, Christmas pillows, it's the same concept, but th there's a little bit of difference in this because the fabric's a little bit different. Um, of course, you're gonna need your placemats and this will work with any kind of placemat. Um, you're gonna need a glue gun or which I have here, or you can use the fabric bond tape. Um, if you don't have a glue gun, this is easy to use too with an iron, or you can use um, needle and thread or sewing machine. But of course, the quick way to do it is with a glue gun. Now I am using fabric glue sticks, which you can find in the um, fabric store or in the craft store in the glue gun section or the glue stick section. Um, these glue sticks are a little bit more flexible when they dry than a regular glue stick. So that may come into play when you're like leaning against pillows or laying on them. You don't want to feel that hard stiffness of a glue gun. So I would suggest that, but I mean, if you don't care about it, you know, which I don't either put to an extent. So you can use regular glue sticks. All right, let's get started. So First thing you're gonna do is make sure that you put one placemat face down on your surface. And if you have patterns, you wanna make sure that the patterns from each placemat is going in the same direction. It's not gonna matter on this one, um, but you wanna be mindful of that if you're using plaids or, you know, different designs or something like that. Now with these placemats, they're not gonna be dead on even, which is not gonna matter because as you glue it down, you can line up the edges to where, you know, they'll be perfectly straight and then you don't have to worry about it. So if it's a little off because they are fabric, you know, don't panic. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna start on this end right here. And if you want to, you can take this off or you can leave it so you'll know how to launder these because you may want to clean them. <laughs> um, or just, you know, take it off like I said or whatever. This says spot clean only, so I know that I can't put this in the wash. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off, but yeah. So just run yourself a nice little bead of glue um, just follow the seam and um, go halfway down or so or however far down you feel comfortable with and just line them up line the seams up be careful because the glue is hot but I do this all the time so I'm okay but you be careful and especially if you're working with children um, you know because you can get burned really bad with this hot glue make sure you Press down nicely and if it bleeds out a little bit or whatever it'll be fine because it'll dry and you can just peel it right off um, so yeah so just gonna make yourself I mean make your way rather around um, this is not hard at all but yeah just put a generous amount down because you want a good seal I usually like sewing these but Considering the fact that my sewing machine is still packed up, um, I'm going to do it the easy way. So there we go. And then, like I said, just make sure if you have to kind of manipulate the fabric somewhat to keep the seams straight, like right here. This placemat's a little bit longer on one side than the other one. You can kind of manipulate it 
and kind of push because once your fill is in, it's going to fill all that out. Okay. There we go. Okay, here we are on the last side. And as you can see, if we flip it over, these edges, I don't know if you can see it, the edges are not meeting exact. This one's a little bigger than the other one. That is totally fine. What we're gonna do, and I'm gonna flip it over so you can see it. Get myself another glue stick really quick. Just pop in. Another glue stick real quick and I'll show you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, you're going to run your glue just like you would any other time. Oh, there we go. And you're going to take the edges and make them meet evenly. Like I said, be careful because the glue is hot. Or use a low temp glue gun, that'll be totally fine. But just be careful. But this is only if your, you know, your um, placemats are not exactly um, the same size. But it, like I said, it doesn't matter. You can make the ends meet. Really easy. And then you're gonna make sure that you leave a hole, about a four inch opening, so that you can put your stuffing or your fill in. There we go. And then I'm gonna start on this end and put my little glue down. Again, following the seam. I'll leave myself that opening. Making those edges meet together. Okay. There we go. And now, just let that dry. And as you can see what happens, it kind of curls because it's not even, but once you fill in, it's not gonna make a difference, promise. Okay, so there's my opening for my um, fill. So let me get it. And if you have any old pillows or something that you wanna recycle, you can use those. Um, Feel free to take the stuffing out of those and recycle, honey. <laughs> so now I'm gonna stuff. You want to do next is just take your glue gun and seal up that opening right there so here we go and just pinch those edges together There it is, a nice, pretty, blingy pillow. <laughs> so yeah, easy as pie, y'all. 
Um, again, you can use any kind of placemat, any kind of holiday placemat if you want to. Um, super easy to make. And, yeah. <laughs> so, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. I'll post the link to the Christmas pillows that I made last year in the description box and somewhere in this video. So, you can check that out. And, until my next video, I will see y'all then. Bye. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Mwah.